Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to disable Microsoft Defender from its roots completely. Uh, some people think that if you install another antivirus uh, that it's going to disable Microsoft Defender automatically. Well, yes, it's true, it's going to disable it. However, the background processes and tasks are still going to be there and running, which may cause some slowdown or conflict with your other security solution. So the best way to do it is, is to disable Defender completely. So you want to make sure you do this in the correct order, because if you do something before the other, it may not work, such as the registry editor, which you'll see at the end of the video. So we're going to double click on the Windows security icon here. And the first thing we want to go to is virus and threat protection. And then over here from device security, core isolation details. Make sure you turn this off. I had this on, but make sure to, to turn this off. Next thing we want to do is we want to go to virus and threat protection settings, hit manage settings, and then turn off real time protection, cloud delivery protection, get rid of these notifications too. And tamper protection. Then we want to go to app and browser control. Go to smart app control settings and make sure to turn this off. By, by default, it's set on evaluation. You see, there are many layers to this uh, Microsoft Defender. It really slows the system down. People think that no, it's slight because they don't know how their system would feel or perform without it. Now we're going to go back to app and browser settings and this time go to reputation based protection settings and turn all of these off, which I've done before. Now, if you restart, Microsoft Defender is gonna re-enable itself. So we wanna do a few more things here. I'm gonna include a link to download these files for you. Now, this script here will disable Microsoft Defender services, which start up automatically. If you notice, if we go to services.msc, you would notice these services, they're running and they're set to manual or automatic, and you can't change it because it's grayed out. So, and if you were to double click on this reg file before you uh, right click on this batch file, which completely disables Defender, you would not be able to run it. So let, let me just try here to show you. See, they're protected. So we're gonna run this batch file, toggle Defender, run as admin, and we're gonna select, yes, disable Windows Defender. Give it a few moments while it's doing its things and disabling it completely from the registry and the settings and whatnot. Now, if we try to run the script again, notice it worked and the values have been imported into the registry. So if we check, notice they're all disabled even though I still can't click them, but they're disabled completely. So now we know the system is going to run as light as possible uh, and not conflict with any other security solution we may install. There's another service here I didn't show you. If you go to Windows Security down here, this needs to be on the okay, that's that's fine, the Windows Security, but where is it here? Yeah, the Advanced Threat Protection Service, that's also been disabled with that registry file. I also like disabling the Microsoft malicious software removal tool. It's one of the most useless tools that gets downloaded with every Windows update. So I'll, I'll double click here and hit yes. We're done. Now, if you have Windows, which is not the home edition, say Windows Pro or Enterprise or Education, you also you have access to the group policy edit. So another step we can do is we're going to go to GP edit 
dot msc so computer configuration administrative templates system first thing we want to do is we want to disable the local security authority which is another layer of protection recently added to microsoft or windows defender we're going to double click here configure don't set it to disabled, but instead hit enabled and then click disabled from here. Next, we want to go to Windows Components, type M, Microsoft Defender, turn off Microsoft Defender Antivirus, enabled, And then allow anti malware service to, main, to remain running always. Disabled. Now, of course, if you didn't do the tweaks I showed you before, the moment you restart, this is going to turn itself back to, to non configured. Next, we're going to go to window, Windows Defender Smart Screen. Enhance phishing protection. Double click on the services enabled and hit that to disable. Or set that to disabled. Then Explorer, we're going to disable these two. And then finally from Microsoft Edge. Then, in order to not get any notifications and whatnot, we're going to go to Windows Security, System Tray. Hide Windows Security System Tray and notifications also because I only want notifications from the antivirus which I'm going to install later. I don't want anything from Microsoft or Windows Defender. Hide all notifications, hit enabled, and we're done. Now, one more for 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 people who have the Home Edition and don't have access to the Google Policy Editor, uh, you can do these registry tweaks tweaks here. Disable local security authority, which we just did. You just set it to disabled by double clicking on this reg file. Everything will be included in the download file in the description, don't worry. Smart app control, turn off smart app control. And that's it. Now, just a little warning, if you try, if you have Windows Defender enabled, the moment you um, download the, this file, it's gonna immediately flag it as a virus. It's not, it's obviously, it doesn't wanna, you know, it doesn't want anything which is gonna disable it. So it, it's a, this is a false positive, it's flagging it as a virus. Uh, if you wanna know what the script does, you can hit show more here and then edit, and then you will see here how everything that it's actually doing in able to enable to disable Windows Defender. See? Mostly registry edits, basically. Now the last step is this you see this icon here? It's gone up because I hit it, but we want to go to start settings, apps, start up and we want to turn this windows security notification off so it doesn't start up every time when you restart windows well that's about it hope you found this video helpful thank you for watching